But only thing, why he attained perfection? That he still accepted Dronacharya's inspiration. So only because of that, he had his desire fulfilled. Or in the example of Virochan and Indra, we see when they went to Lord Brahma to get knowledge, what happened? Lord Brahma gave them knowledge gradually, testing them. First, what did, what did he say? He said, oh, the absolute truth means, oh, this body, what you are, what you are seeing, this is the absolute truth, you should accept it, and now you should be happy. And both of them, they returned to, to their kingdoms. And Virochan became so happy. Oh, yes, now, now no problem. And he announced in his entire demon kingdom that, oh, we are, what we see is our real self. So, now we should, we should simply try to satisfy, satisfy this body. And whoever is dear to this body is our actual uh, friend and one who is not our, not favoring the, the comfort of this body, he's our enemy. So he should be killed. And by any means we should try to make ourselves happy. No need to consider good, bad, cheating or honesty, no need. Because after death, there is nothing. This is what it is. This is the absolute truth. And this has been authorized by Lord Brahma. Because he gave me this knowledge. So what does the demon do? They do like this. They will go to the pure devotee and superficially accept him as Guru. And because of their lack of 100% complete surrender, because they have cheating propensity in their heart, they get cheated by that, um, that Mahabhagwat. Because the devotees are like that. They know that Giving real bhakti in heart meaning word, giving the Supreme Lord Himself. And this person is not qualified because he himself wants to become the master. So he doesn't have that service mood. He will what he will do? He will dis disturb the Supreme Lord. So they don't they deprive him of that of that supreme wonderful Jew. And on the other hand, what did Indra do? When Indra heard this knowledge, he was returning and he was contemplating in his heart. Oh, if this body is the absolute truth, then we hear that absolute truth is eternal. And it's sublime, it's full of happiness, there's never any distress. But I see this body is going through so many problems. Birth, death, old age, disease, and eventually this body dies. But if it's absolute truth, then how can I reconcile this? Oh, maybe I should go back. And I should request to my Gurudev to enlighten me. So he went back and then he requested very humbly, submissively, that, Oh Gurudev, you spoke this knowledge to me, but I am not satisfied. I have not understood. Can you please tell me what is the essence of your instructions? And Lord Brahma smiled. Oh, there is some hope for him. He's thinking and he said, Okay, so now you should be in this ashram for 32,000 years and serve like a brahmachari. And in the ashram of his Gurudev, Indra was serving Lord Brahma in so many ways, doing everything for him for 32,000 years, completely living like a brahmachari. And then, after spending that much time, he came for in front of his Gurudev. And then Lord Brahma said, Okay, now you should understand that when you sleep, then in your sleep, the person who is moving, who is active, he is this absolute truth. And Indra was very happy to hear that. It was a one step deeper knowledge. So then he returned again. and then, But again he was thinking, Oh, if this is truth, absolute truth, then why again is temporary? Again, because what we see in dream is not real actually. One might get you know, attacked by a lion in a dream and start perspiring, but as soon as he gets, you know, away, he says, oh, I'm okay, no problem. Or, when they become the king of America, or, you know, Holland, or any, any country in the dream, or when they, you know, marry any beautiful girl, or when they marry any beautiful person, or whatever, so many things can happen, or one can, you know, rob a bank, whatever, but when they come back to their uh, awakened state, their conscious state, then that is not existing anymore. So, and we see, we, we, we have so many kind of dreams because of past life's impression. Sometimes we are attacked, sometimes we are happy. So many kind of dream or bitten by a snake. So Lord, so uh, Indra is thinking that, oh, there's something more which I need to know. 
This is not sufficient. This is not complete. Now he went back again, went back again to Lord Brahma and again requested that, O oh, Gurudev, I could not understood even this, in, this knowledge also. Please tell me the essence. And again Lord Brahma said, Good. Now again you should follow strict Brahmachari life for another 32,000 years. And he did that. So meaning what? What Indra is wanting? Or in, in the name of Indra, any such true seeker of knowledge, what he is actually aspiring for? He is aspiring for that eternal destination or that eternal wealth. By achieving, no longer he will need anything else in the material world or anywhere. His all desires will be fulfilled. So if one is actually trying to fulfill that supreme goal, so one can imagine what cost he should pay for it. He must pay something. It should not be so cheap. So just because he should realize the value and then he should properly honor that goal, Lord Brahma is preparing him. He's already been selected for the mercy. But now preparation is going on. Training him. And then when he saw that now he's furthermore educated, good, eligible for further knowledge, then when Indra came to Brahmaji again, then Brahmaji said, Oh, the yogis in their meditation, what they try to meditate on, that supreme wonderful form of the Lord is absolute truth. This is the essence of everything. And if you know this, uh, this truth, and if you follow this uh, process in your life, you will be eternally happy. And you will have no problems in your life. So then when Indra received this information, then he went, came back and he started following the instructions of Lord Brahma. So similarly, in all these examples we see that Guru Nishtha means that one surrenders one's, all of one's energy in the lotus feet of Guru Dev without a second thought, without doubting. But before accepting anyone as Guru, one should make sure that if that person is qualified enough to be regard, regarded as Guru or not. It's not that any person who is you know, just speaking on Shastra because he's taken to a particular dress which looks like of a saint or just because he's worshipped by so many people we should accept him. No, this is not the criteria. We are here, we, just today we heard the qualification of Guru. So, according to those symptoms, if one is really uh, exhibiting those qualities in one's character, then only that person should be regarded as Guru. And one should submit himself completely with body, mind and words. Accepting him as 100% complete representation of the Supreme Lord Himself. Krishna says, Acharya Maam Avijanya. You should understand and you should have complete belief that who is Acharya? I am myself coming in the form of Guru and telling you this path. So you should have no doubt. Just by the blessing of the Guru, when he is pleased, Every knowledge and everything, all the details, everything will manifest in one's heart. And nothing else will be left. So, we should pray with our sincerity that although we have made this strong step in our life, we should be blessed with this wonderful gift of Guru Nishtha in our lives. That we can actually realize that who is Guru, what is His mercy, what He really wants from us and we can actually after understanding these things realize and follow and be able to surrender ourselves. Because until that point, unless this happens in our life, there is no way that we can make any progress, any little amount of progress is not possible. Only when one has this strong Guru Nishtha, there is any possibility that one will have any favor from the Supreme Lord or any progress on the path of Bhakti. Hare Krishna. Naras, oh, he is Guru of all. He is Jagat Guru. He has understood the essence of God. And what is this? What is this? Always he is singing the glories of Radha Khan. 
नारद मुनि बजाय बिना राधि का जय जय राधा रमन हरि हो जय जय राधा रमन हरि हो So you have an if and you are caught, it's okay. you should keep it outside of their fence. Uh, <coughs> let me hear. Uh, Give your ears to me. Formally. Huh? How many? What you mean? 25 minutes. <laughs> I only want 25 minutes. That was a very learned person. Very high class of person. In ancient time, it has written in Vedas, Upanishad. His name was Yagya Balkya. Yagya Balkya. He was like a real, realized soul. He has two wives, Katyani and Matre. He was the prominent Brahma Gyata in the council of Maharaj Janak, the father of Sita Devi. When he became of the age, he crossed the age of fifty, he called his two wives. Oh, you see, I had thousands and thousands of cows. I want to divide you. Half you should take half. You have two sons and one daughter. And you have also two daughter, two sons and one daughter. What I have got from donation of Janak and other parties, I am dividing it to two. So you should be happy and allow me to go to forest to chant and remember Supreme Personality of Godhead because I am going old. This is our system in Vedic culture. Oh, we can very happy. Captain, he told, you are my husband. You are given everything. Good palace to be, to, to leave. Good garden. Two sons and one daughter. So much wealth, 
so much cows, everything you have given. So now you can go and you can practice what you want. But second wife, she told, I want to know something from you and then you can happily go. But please answer my question. The question was this. What you are now giving to me, son, daughter, wealth, reputation, gold so much, cows so much, everything you are giving. My question is that, can they make me happy forever? Oh, then he became very happy. Oh, he embraced her. Oh, really, you are my half dharmini, wow. sadharmini. That is why I like you so much. Any general person cannot put a question like this. Very rare. <coughs> now I want to say you, that something is there. Hidden thing. Matre told, you are giving all these things to me. But even having all these positions with you, why you are giving up and going to forest? If these things, materials, can give me happiness for eternal happiness, then why? You are not uh, getting happiness from these things and you are getting up and going to forest. So really I know that these material, material things cannot make you happy. Momentary happiness they can be. And then he took that wife with him in the forest and helping each other. They began to uh, practicing bhakti yoga. So here you should know these are not only myths, story. like a story. Really these are things. I know that you want bhakti. You want all bhakti. But you want material these sense, the, the things for made, uh, sense gratification more. Mm -hmm. That is why you are not giving your whole attention and energy for bhakti. You have more faith in material things rather than bhakti. If you have bhakti, more for these things. Chanting, remember it. Sadhing, guru day. Then, why you are engaged here? Why not always chanting, remember it? So, really this is not bhakti, what we are now doing. You should think it. It is not sarup siddha bhakti. Constitutional bhakti, this is not. Transcendental bhakti, it is not. What we are doing now? Having some desire, worldly desire, like Dhruva. Having some desire, hmm? like Prahlad Maharaj. Was very bona fide bhakti. He never wanted any worldly things. But he could not serve Krishna, you know? Krishna. He has something like it. And what is this? Or some mixture with jnana in his bhakti. So our bhakti now is not pure constitutional, transcendental bhakti. You should know this. If you have some desire, worldly desire or any desire, 
And what is this? Sham Siddha Bhakti and Arup Siddha Bhakti. You should know what is Arup Siddha Bhakti and Sam Siddha Bhakti and then Sam Siddha. Then you will clarify all these things and then you can engage your whole sense of being. Sarup Siddha Bhakti. Otherwise, no. If you are making oh, any business, and by business you are making very beautiful garden, so many fruits and so many things. And from that fruits and flowers, <coughs> oh, you want to offer all to Krishna. To make a garden, to make all these things, it is not pure bhakti. Only Sravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Ishmaranam, Padashimam, Arthanam, Bandhanam, Dasyam, Shakyam, Atmanam. This is pure bhakti. To chant always, to remember Krishna, to hear the past tense of Krishna in high class of association, especially five bhakti, more superior, Sadhu Sangh, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavatsraman, Vrindavan Vash, Shabdha, What are these five? What are these five? One in it. Sadhu Sangh, Sadhu Sangh, Nam Kirtan, Bhagavatsraman, and Mathura Vash. Mathura Vash means living in Brajadham, and Navadip Dham, and Jagannath Puri Dham. And Srimuti yes. Sraddha is a one service of deity. But we have to remember one thing the Sadhu Sangha is common to all. If we give up Sadhu Sangha and do, then it will be zero. So we have to be maintain all these bhakti links with Sadhu Sangha, with good association. If you are chanting name, but not in the guidance of your Vaishnava, then your chanting will be like zero. After some time, you will give up chanting. And we, you will go to over the right. Taking again meat, meat and other things. fishes, eggs and all these things. Drugs, you lose your appetite. So, this association of high class Vaishnava and their guidance is, it should be there. Sadhu Sangha, Nam Kirtan, or oh, you should do Nam Kirtan, but in the guidance of a very pure Vaishnava Guru. You should read Bhagavatam, but in the guidance of any high class of Vaishnava. Otherwise, you can So everywhere, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sadhu Sangha, Law Matre, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. Or in a moment, you will be changed and pure Bhakti will come. If bhakti will come, uh, even a uh, drop even, oh, at once you will be happy. First. Second, renounce will bound to come. And all your sufferings will go, go away. Because, because bhakti is in the first stage, place shakni. She takes away all kinds of suffering. But we see that we are all suffering. So many ropes, so many things. So our bhakti is not pure either. What is that? O Sam Siddha, especially. Mixed with karma, mixed with kyan. So try to give up. Totally surrender in the Lord's feet of your Guru Dev. And be always in this kind of You can see all these things in the life of Raghunath Das Goswami. You have heard from Kundari Brahmachari, oh, very well he explained everything. So you should also think. What he told and essence of whole Shastra, from beginning to end, you can see in the life of Raghunath Das Goswami. How? When he was a boy, baby, Oh, Krishna managed a very pure and high class of Vaishnava association. Oh, his guru. 
What is the name of his guru? Raghunandan eh? Acharya. He never knew anything, Raghunath. Though he is eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he is posing something eh? for us. How a person can develop his Krishna consciousness? So you should see. In the beginning, Krishna managed him to have a good association. The Jagunandana Acharya had very powerful devotees of Advaita Acharya in his relation. In his line, his disciple of in Advaita Acharya Parivar. So very high class of devotees. And sometime after, he had association of Haridastha. Who did it? Raghunath Goswami he did, or by the arrangement of Krishna everything was coming. According to your impression of previous life or this life, your hankering for bhakti, your service to your Guru Dev, it will come. And with a renounce from boyhood, you, you have seen Raghunath Das Goswami. He did not like wealth. No praise, nothing. Tena dapi suni taruro pi sahi sununa mani na manda. Try to follow his life from beginning. Be dependent to Krishna. Or Krishna can do anything. What? He is powerful to do. What is not to be done? Impossible. Impossible also he, it is possible for Krishna. Because he is Achinta Shakti Shari. Achinta? Oh, we can. He can do anything. So you should determine. Oh, Krishna, I have sent I want your pure bhakti. And then Krishna will send a guru. Like Prabhupada, Krishna sent Naradji. For Balmiki, he sent Narad. For Das, he sent Narad. From Prahlad Maharaj, he sent not everywhere. So you should be like that. You should know that in this world there is no happiness. Only problems and problems. You see, today in Annaprasan, the boy was deeply sleeping. I wanted to <laughs> awake him. But he was so much observed me, <coughs> sleeping. Then I did something like message, and he began to weep. <laughs> and when he was weeping, weeping, then I gave some sweet in his mouth. <laughs> oh, now he became. <laughs> so you are all sleeping, all whole world is sleeping. <laughs> Krishna sent any high class of guru like Swamiji, but your Prabhupada. He came and all were <coughs> engaged in sense gratifications, <coughs> sleeping totally. <coughs> and what he do? Sri, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadahasar, Sri Vasadi Gauru Bhakta Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. You are giving me alcohol, wine, everything. You are my best friend. You should come and join me. And they join. <coughs> and what they are doing? Only dancing. All hippies. They kept their all utensils there and they began to dance. And after some time, some time what? Began? Hippies. Oh, right. Oh, hippie began. Now they are preaching whole world. The mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah, oh. huh? So, you should be like that. Be like that. <coughs> so, many persons began to follow him. They left their homes. 
They left their wives, their children, their husband. I know that at that time, or she was, she, she, a very beautiful, teeny aged girl. <laughs> but what became? Now she is preaching everywhere. And quite renounced. She had no desire, worldly desire. Nothing, nothing. She is satisfied. So many are. So try to be like that. If you want to be happy, let us be happy. Follower of Nath Das Goswami. After what we came? Hmm? Oh. Anyway, he, he received the mercy of Nityananda Prabhu. Without Nityananda Prabhu, but without the mercy of Balde Prabhu. Oh, Akhanda Guru Tattva. Whole shell Guru Tattva is Nityananda. All the gurus are manifestation of if they are real guru. Otherwise, bogus guru are not manifestation of Nityananda. Now, very rare guru, fallen, like Ritrix now. Oh, Ritrix are now growing up. Bogus things. You should not have any belief on them. Be far away and careful from these. Or oh, animal creatures. <laughs> they don't know what is what is this. They want to again cheat. They have cheated themselves and others. And now they cheat again. They want to cheat themselves and also to others. Be very far away. Then, you know, in the life of Haridas Thakur, and he was he was checked, he was once he was going and any dancer, <coughs> dancer, oh. and playing it with her snakes, snake charmer, snake charmer. <laughs> and when he was singing on flute to make dance of his snake, oh, Haridas Thakur heard. The Kaliya Daman Lila from his mouth. He was singing. And at once he became like fan, dancing and dancing. And all began to take his seed dust. Then there was a very cruel and nonsense Brahmin. Oh, he thought that all are taking the seed dust of Nityananda. So I, I also should dance like him. And all will come and take my fingers. <laughs> when that flute wala was uh, singing the pastimes of sweet pastimes of Kaliyadaman Krishna, oh, that Brahmin began to dance uh, like a posing, posing imitation and he fell on the ground. But the flute wala has a very good. A stick. And by a stick he beat him three times very badly. And he ran away from there. So this imitator, imitation is not good. High class of devotees they know. So don't imitate to be. I am now a realized soul. I am Guru. I can help others. Don't see. After that, you know, <coughs> the mercy of Nityanand came and then he told that now you are, oh, I have taken all your obstacles. Now you can meet with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then, how to went to Puri? He be giving up very beautiful at that time, Miss Universe. <laughs> he left. And very kingdom, big, big kingdom. So much wealth. He left everything. And now what? We are being a devotee, we are collecting all these things. Very nonsense. If you are if you want to go be more beautiful, decorating decorating ourselves. What is this? Why not uh, this? Um, okay, I'll go back.
बराबर क्यों नहीं आता डिटैचमेंट इज कमिंग सो दैट इज डिफेक्ट इन योर चांटिंग रिमेम्बरिंग यू आर नॉट डूइंग सो मच यू आर इंगेज टोटली इन मेकिंग मनी दैट बाई मनी आई कैन बी है ओ गिव अप दिस आइडिया वन ई बाई चांटिंग मे यू सी हर दास ठाकुर यू सो सी रघुनाथ दास को शांत इवन हिज फादर सेंड सो मच मनी एंड ब्रैमिंग कुकर्स बट ही रिजेक्टेड रिजेक्टेड एवरीथिंग वाय ही वॉज टेकिंग सम प्रसाधन फ्रॉम मार्केट इवन ही he also rejected to be standing on the singh dwar anyone will come and give me something oh this is like prostitutes they i am not like he refused also and how he was renounced if you like divorce on this kind or you will have to follow his life <coughs> and if you are not following then you are doing what some siddha bhakti not pure bhakti arup siddha bhakti also so you should know that mixing with gyan and karma or yog tapasya and other thing mixing with any worldly desire that bhakti is not pure we should try to do pure bhakti even being in family life Like Draupadi, you know, Krishna is controlled by Draupadi. Those she was in family life. Arjun was family life. Oh, you know, all the gopis in family life, huh? but they are more than Narada Rishi Jagat Guru. <laughs> Narada is the guru of also Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya, you know, Ornamasi Devi. Ornamasi Devi. But they are guru of Narada Rishi also. Who? Gopi. Gopi. Guru of Krishna also. Supreme Lord. Krishna has admitted this fact that Gopis are my friend. Gopis are my. So I am guru of Sisa. My servant. They are my guru. They are my everything. Hmm? So you should know. Gopi Raj. Everything. They are servant of Krishna. They are guru of Krishna. They are friends of Krishna. They are general of Krishna. They are everything of Krishna. Krishna has surrendered in the Lord's feet of Radhika. Hmm? He wants to message her feet to take a stamp from her Lord's feet. What? Colored from feet. Oh, and dash of Radhika. Oh, this is called pure bhakti. <laughs> very, very high. Very, very. Oh. बहुमूल्य चीज है इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बाई सम वेजिटेबल सम मार्केट टेक सम मनी इवन वन डॉलर टू डॉलर थ्री डॉलर इज सफिशियंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू हैव एनी गोल्डन चेन देन यू विल हैव टू टेक सम मोर डॉलर If you want to or to buy Krishna and that Krishna Prem highest thing, then highest wealth you will have to give for that. That is what is that? What is that? Oh, this time Guru, this time Krishna Bhakti, only this can be. Otherwise, no. Don't depend on worldly these things. That money will help you. Oh, so much wealth will help you. Oh, big, big rooms, houses, equipped with to control cold, to control uh, hot, and everything. Oh, I want a car in which everything is there. Singing is there. Oh, seat, seat to advance some. Like this, or oh, I can sleep, sleep also. <laughs> so, really, this is we should try to realize this bhakti or nirguna bhakti. This is called. So, you can find everything in the life of Ramnath Das. 
एक विमान पर यदि भक्ति जो सो ट्राई टू फॉलो रघुनाथ दास नॉट वर्डली मनी प्रेस और एनीथिंग हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare